what is happening everybody welcome back to this sort of first impressions of the gameplay reveal for wild heart um they've said there's seven minutes of gameplay to look at so we're gonna have a look at that like we did with the um trailer reveal and then we will go through and just look at the final points that we want to have a look at through the video so let's come over obviously you may contain inappropriate for children let's get going Nice. It's instantly getting Ghost of Tsushima vibes here. Hunt for King Tusk. So that's the pig looking thing, I believe. And we've got a big city. Maybe that's our home hub. Can't see us fighting too many things in there, but maybe you got the bridge at the top there. Do we find out how that happens? Okay, that's one way of traversing. So one thing I really want to look at is, is this just going to be an arena fight or will the monster move depending on damage, time, so on and so forth, like we've got with um, Monster Hunter. So we've got some traversal, that's good. And there he is. All them eyes he's got. Alright. Wow, that's a bit janky. Not janky, but a lot going on on the screen at once. So we've got a box down. That spawned vines, I guess. Right, here he is. Obviously no HUD at the moment. Wow. That's got to be a deliberate one shot. You can't hit that hard. You just get trampled on and dead. Can't be that brutal, surely. Okay, so it does look like he moves. That's good to know. Player two has arrived. So she's got the parasol. Okay, so it's killing a frog looking thing here. Is there carving? Yes, there is carving. And ingredients of mud bloat toad. Looks like there's certain things attached to that. We'll go back and have a look at that once it's fully done. So you've got a, a wave marker for the um, enemy, which is good, or the monster, I should say. Is that an unlock or is that something you get off the start obviously time will tell when we get our hands on it all right like in this setting again it's got like a whip sword So trying to fly up on him by the looks of things. What have we got now? Oh, we've got the hammer. Bonk. Nice. Didn't seem to stagger him or anything like that. So there's flames. Is there going to be weapon elements and weaknesses? Probably. Wow, okay, so that, that's... There's no HUD, obviously, you don't know health and stuff, but... So there's a wall, which she's hit. It's gone flying. I 
So punish. Oh, severed. Severed part breaks. So maybe you have to do that. Get them down and then hit them to get the part breaks and stuff. We've got an enrage mode. Player three. It's like some um, baton weapons. Um, Tonkers, something like that. I think that's what they're called. Not really au fait with that type of weapon, just as a baton. And we've got a cat, like a flash bomb and a okay, it's turned into a shuriken. Shuriken to detonate that, and then fire effects. There's some green stuff on the side of his belly there. Is that a spear in him? Yeah, green on the side. Maybe that's where we pierced him or something. And down he goes. So they've got Mortal Kombat fatalities in here as well. What the hell? Tame and world gone wild. That looks nice. Is this all reachable? Is it all one world? Nice. Looks good still. You have to obviously get your hands on it to uh, to do it. So let's flip back here then. Uh, go across five seconds. Yeah, so that's that. But yeah, this gives me Ghost of Tsushima vibes very much. So, um, just how it looks and the way the the grass was playing around. Yeah, it looks yeah, very much like ghosts for me obviously seen this mechanic before um i wonder if this is our hub and obviously there's a bridge come across here yeah we've got the bridge here which has gone down maybe we see this happen in the, the opening cinematic or part of the game which is why we can um we're a bit safe but then if you've got that phoenix that we saw at the end how how safe is this area but yeah you got that um yeah, this is interesting how you traverse and depending on the cooldown obviously they haven't got any sort of hud up at the moment so you can't see cooldowns and whatnot and i wonder if that's actually something you can do in game that'd be pretty sweet when no hud runs um this is obviously the traversal Let's get through that um this felt a little bit clunky to me actually jumped up onto a box and then didn't really get much of a boost interesting whether or not you can do that off um just climb up. We have to drop a box to climb. That'll be interesting. Uh, let me just skip forward. See, what's that? Three eyes. That's six eyes. But he is quite aligned to the um, to the terrain here. Just wish you could spin around and see more of it. But alas, um, yeah. So this bit, that cinematic there was a bit well, not cinematic it's gameplay but it's there was a lot going on and almost like not motion sickness but you get blurred and you, you can't fixate on one area there's just so much going on on the screen um and if you're trying to control and react to something you can't um but i guess and this is just to showcase that you will be going underneath the monster and what it's like but again, the angle that they've got their camera at in this 
you're cutting into like the foliage at the bottom and it's a bit yeah a bit weird yeah like that cutting through the grass but one thing if i skip back here we just come out here you're getting sun effects off a off the the monster so it's quite dark this side which is really good quite like that also you've got this box here which i think produces vines or is that the enemy producing that it might be the enemy and this is where we get one shot so yeah i'm liking the lighting yeah so that's where you get one shot now then so where you get player two obviously the enemy moves so we've got this toad i'm going to pause it here so it's a mud bloke toad dragon crest stone plus two cubed meat cubed meat um number in possession seven seven out of 20 ingredients so it looks like you're going to need to do some pre-prep work or that's either from a, a side quest or Maybe you sort of like off the wish list that we've got in Monster Hunter. So you go in saying, right, I need this material. It gives you up that material and hopefully will tell you where you can get it um, once you've spawned. But yeah, that's interesting that we've got this. Hopefully it's for weapon upgrade materials, which is quite good. Um, yeah, so this wispy effect, um, again, reminds me of Ghosts of Tsushima quite heavily. Um, it just depends how far and wide this you can see this from and then again you've got this like zip wire to get into the boss again there he is so again liking the look of this arena again it seems like he's moving from one arena to the next so that's good If that, now there was a green hue that's on his weapon i'm not sure if this is a looks to me like this could be an element so maybe wind in this case um or if there's a you know if it is we had fire element this will be red so on and so forth that'd be an interesting thing that we i'd like to to see more of Again, it stomps. So again, they're looking at tails on monsters here. So he's trying to... That's interesting. He tried to use his helicopter to get on top, but couldn't get up quite enough. That's nice that that's not a guaranteed get up there. I like this slide as well. And then we've got the big bonk, which is fine. Again... You just no stun effect from that so is that resistance of this enemy against that that'd be something again I want to find some more out but again how it all interplays in and it did load up quite quickly so if you've got an opening you can do that so there, he's done a flame thing there again there's a slide and hit back so yeah Maybe he's off trying to recover. We obviously now got the two. So this is something I was interested in when I first saw it was how quickly it did that. And is there a gauge that you'd have in on your UI to say, yes, you can build X amount or is it an option that you go, cool, if I build two, I'm going to build a wall. Next time, maybe if you build two, it's a blister or a, a grappling, you know, the, the sort of um i can't think of the word whether it pinned it in the last one with the rope almost like a rope caster thing but so that takes it down and obviously in comes this woman with the parasol who then does a really good move and severs obviously bringing in a load of resources so the thing for me on that is do you need them to be down like that to then sever or can you jump up and sever that's a mechanic i want to understand a bit more but there's just the damage detail you can see on him at this moment in time 
and then gets enraged, which is nice. And then we've got player three coming in. Yeah, so he's got... I think they're Batons or Tonkers or something, which looks like they turn into a Shuriken as well um, later on. But yeah, you can see... You know, it, will these change as more damage is done? But yeah, it's basically like a jaw blades type. Yeah, it whiffed by the looks of things there. There's eyes as well. So he's now doing, looks like a flash bomb. Yes, yeah, so it's flashed. There's only signs that you can see. Nothing really. And then there's the bomb. And he seems like he's doing a couple of moves to go into that. And then... Boom. Now that is obviously not going to be in-game. That is going to be a cinematic. Um, you probably have button combinations to put it into shuriken mode and then launch it. But you won't probably go in that close to the character to see that. Again, doesn't stay down for long. And then they start wailing, which is fine. Keep going. Yeah. They come out. This is interesting here, if that's a debuff. Which would be, you know, localised debuffs. And maybe it becomes a weak point. Would be quite good. And then... Yeah. Down it goes. And I like it's, the way its tongue is out and everything. And then you got Fatality. Yeah. That'd be interesting to see how that plays. So that's, uh, yeah. Tame a new world gone mad. But again, look at this. This looks really good. And then you've got the, the Phoenix. So, or, yeah, I guess it looks like a Phoenix. But there it is, Wild Hearts. Gameplay trailer. No HUD, obviously, which was not unsurprisingly. I think they want to keep it crisp and keep it clean. But uh, the more I see of this, the more I really want to play it. Um, out in February, by the looks of things, hopefully we'll get a demo. Please, EA, give us a demo. Um, let people have, you know, get a chance to probably like it as much as the devs are. But um, yeah, we're going to call it here. That's the Wild Hearts gameplay. Um, seven minutes of gameplay plus analysis. Please like, comment, subscribe. All that good stuff really does help me out. Um, there'll be some more Wild Hearts content whenever they do release more information. So thank you very much, everyone. And I'll see you all in the next one.